Hey, I'm Billy Baldwin, class of 1985. Binghamton University made a big difference in my life and in yours. Maybe it was the excellent academic programs here or the sports teams. Maybe a, a professor helped you in some special way. Being here at Binghamton helped shape who I am today, helped shape who I am as a father, as a husband, in both my career as an actor and an activist. It shaped me, it shaped you, and with your support, it's going to help shape future generations of Binghamton alumni. I'm involved in the Binghamton Association of Mixed Student. We chartered that in 2002, but it was established in 2001. I'm also a part of the National Society of Black Engineers, but I'm not an engineer. I'm a human development major. I'm actually the uh, president of the improv sketch comedy group here, the Pappy Parker Players. Right yeah, uh, Ben is part of that as well. Want to do an endorsement? We'll show you at the show. <laughs> Justin was our second Division I All-American the year before we had uh, one of the Patterson brothers uh, was our first Division I All-American and he followed up in consecutive years as our second Division I All-American. Giving back to Binghamton and encouraging others to do so is something that is very, very important to me. I, I mean, let's face it, they selected us, they invested in us, and that investment has paid huge dividends. Many of you have gone on to successful careers in law, medicine, the arts, and in business. But now it's our opportunity, yours and mine to give something back to Binghamton University, to ensure that as it grows, as Binghamton moves forward, that we provide it with the resources that are absolutely essential, that are absolutely required to help it maintain its reputation. People are starting to know us, I believe, that uh, particularly like we send one student out, so we have like the feeler out there. My friend at Goldman Sachs runs one of the departments there. He's, one of the, he's a partner at, at Goldman Sachs. He, he went to Georgetown and, and one year he was interviewing all of the interns that were coming in and there was one kid <clears throat> that just said something that moved him or resonated and he said, I don't know what it is about this kid. He goes, I'm, I want to take this kid. And it was a Binghamton kid. And ever since that kid, every year I take a Binghamton kid every year because of the, not just because of that kid, that kid's kicked the door open. He goes, but that kid was hungrier, he wanted it more, he knew he had to prove himself more because he was in, you know, the shark infested waters with all, you know, with all the Stanfords and the Dukes and, and uh, all those guys. A truly great university not only has great academic programs, but it has an alumni base who continuously support these academic programs. This is where you come in. This is where you help. Through your personal outreach to former Binghamton classmates, roommates, and teammates, I know we can increase the number of Binghamton alumni who support the university with a financial gift. I wonder if you know how, what percentage of students on, an, on, an, on a national average at state universities, what percentage of the alumni participate in by giving money back to the university after they graduate? I want to give them the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> All right, I guess 30. I'm going to go with 30. 30 <laughs> percent. Should I tell them? On camera? Okay. The national average, I think, for, for public universities is 15%, and Binghamton's 8%. Together and by reaching out to our friends and colleagues, we can do our part as Binghamton alumni to ensure that Binghamton continues on a path of excellence. I hope you'll accept my invitation to actively support bold, brilliant Binghamton.